Let's take a look at vector subtraction. This is going to work the same way that it works for real numbers. If we want to do something like u minus v, this is really just the same thing as doing u plus negative v. And we know how to multiply v by negative 1. It's that's simple enough. So we're just going to have u, which is 3, 3, plus uh, negative 4, negative 1. OK, simple enough. We do that addition, and we get 4, or sorry, 3 plus negative 4 is negative 1. 3 minus 1 is 2. And so this subtraction is just this new vector, negative 1, 2. Simple enough. So now let's take a look at that on a graph. Here we have v in blue and u in orange. And now we can graph negative v. So it's just v but pointing in the opposite direction. So there's negative v. And now to do this subtraction, we're really just doing u plus negative v. So we're just going to take the head to tail approach. We go up u, and then we add negative v. And we get to this new vector, u minus v. There's our new vector. But notice that vectors, since they're translational, we can move them anywhere in the plane. We can draw u minus v here and close off that parallelogram. This is the same uh, vector as, as u minus v over there. So this is still u minus v. We just moved it over. And that's pretty interesting because that tells us that u minus v is the vector that points from the head of v to the head of u. So make sure you see that. Points from the head of v to the head of u. In fact, let me remove that. Maybe you can see it better. OK, so we're going to use that fact when we prove something about the dot product a few videos from now. See you then.